Today we'll take a somewhat deep, deeper dive into Mermaids, um, one of my favorite moves on Reformer, but we need to set people up right, especially in a group class setting. Uh, just setting your group into a Z sit is not going to be the best thing for some people's hips and knees. If you're teaching a class of 12 or more, I guarantee you're talking one to two people minimum that Z sit for mermaid is not right for them. So um, any knee replacement, hip replacement, Z sits contraindicated. So you got to use your alternative. For mermaid, I like to teach folks um, a hurdler sit. Okay, so we're about to, uh, we're on a medium spring. We're about to press out into our mermaid and we're in a hurdler sit. We're doing the move well. This person's got a knee or a hip problem. So often hurdler sit is, is good, is all right for them. Uh, some people can't flex this leg up all the way. So they're going to go on the side. Uh, ideally this carriage is higher for me. It would be higher for me and yeah, maybe not high enough all the way to get the feet off the floor, but they can at least still participate if they'll walk their feet out a little bit actively as they do the move. Okay. So first, you got to know, hey, who's your Z-sit person and who's your hurler sit? Because some people who can Z-sit, they're hypermobile in their hips. And you can really inflame them. Um, having them go to Z-sit just on autopilot from, from teacher training. So hurdler sit, safer. Mermaids, variations. Okay, mermaids, side bending, twisting, uh, twisted uh, mermaid got so many different cool variations that you guys know this is more about the leg setup only after they know they've tried it out okay I can get myself there now we're in our Z sit traditionally Z sit is taught with the shins up against the blocks to, as a setup point but this is I don't like the one size fit all setups what I like to set the class up is uh, leading hip at the front edge of the carriage. Then your foot bar doesn't necessarily have to be adjusted. Um, your your uh, folks with shorter arms or torsos then aren't set up way far away. You can just say, right, do you feel like you're reaching for the foot bar? If you feel like you're reaching for the bar, you're gonna lose the essence of mermaid. Uh, you gotta feel like you got stable shoulder, not down shoulder. Not shoulder down, shoulder stable, because we're going to need that shoulder to float through the rotator cuff uh, real nice and smooth. Okay, so shoulder stable, and then our classic side bend, side bending, thinking C curve of the spine, and trying to keep this hip stable as well. This is also taught classically with the hip down or sitting on a wedge. I don't think you need to wedge on this. Most people aren't going to be able to have the hip down. And um, I think just hips stable, stable shoulder, side bend, stable hip. And you have mermaid's twist. So side bending first, then twisting down to the bar, resetting the, the, the wrist a little wider than the shoulders and then pulling up and pressing back. There's a deep exploration to be had here, but you've got to get people set up properly for them. If there's any kind of reaching going on, you'll see people pinching on the bar or they're out like this on their fingers. They're they're too they're not twisting the torso quite enough for the demands we've made. So what you do is you say turn your hips more towards the foot bar. So then they turn the hips towards the bar and now they're in mermaid's twist in a more comfortable way. Even setting that trailing foot onto the headrest is going to give this person a better chance of success uh, during mermaid's twist. If that person is in hurdler sit, this is the beauty of hurdler sit. All right, you got mermaid, boom, mermaid's twist right here, and we're off. Now that person gets to experience the joy of mermaid, even with a knee or a hip that severely limited them. Um, it, isn't that a great thing to be able to share? So um, make sure mermaid, clear them on that Z sit. If you have any kind of arthroscopic, a meniscus, an ACL, 
um, hip bursitis, um, even sciatica, I would recommend a hurdler sit for a while just to reduce strain from those hips. Doing a little of this. Yeah, I'm loving mermaid. I'm exploring deeper in my thoracic and my, my uh, shoulders and C-spine. Coming around, you can get some nice counter stretching. You see, all this can be done with very little um, lower chain impact. As soon as you step back into that Z, you gotta know that person loves Z. And boy, I do love Z. <sighs> when the knees are feeling good, Z feels great. All right, hope this helps. I'll see you in the next one.